What's going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about whether Winston-Salem is still a good place to live or not. Let's get into the video. My name is Ramon Lomelli. I'm a local realtor and the team leader of the Smart Move Group brokered by eXp Realty here in Winston-Salem as well as all the surrounding areas. And the reason that I wanted to make this video for you guys today is actually kind of a highly requested video. People are asking me all the time whether Winston-Salem is still a good place to live or not. Because for years, people from all over the country, usually from bigger cities, have been coming and trying to figure out if Winston-Salem will actually work for them or not. And a lot of people have been moving here for a very, very long time. People like the low housing prices they like the lack of traffic basically that we have here sometimes they move here because they like that country lifestyle sometimes they moved here because they liked a smaller city the proximity to both the mountains and the beach the mild weather i mean there's so many reasons why people have been moving here for so long but a lot of things have changed over the last few years especially 2020 2021 2022 uh, things were all out of whack and so i wanted to make this video to address those things but do me a huge favor hit that like button leave me a comment but above all subscribe those kinds of things keep me motivated to keep pumping out these videos for you it really does help the channel a lot also if you want to get a Hold of me my number should be on the screen right now if i remember to do it correctly also in the contact information you'll find not only my number and my email but also all my social media handles in case you want to be my friend on facebook instagram TikTok. also i'm going to leave you some amazing links in the about section of this video so you can see some uh awesome things like the winston salem relocation guide that's free also free list of homes that are currently in the area if after you watch this video you still decide that winston salem is right for you so let's get right into probably the biggest reason why people have been moving here for a long time whether it's investors or people just looking for a place to bring their family to and that's housing and the affordable price of homes in Winston-Salem. It is no secret that during those pandemic years and those low interest rate years of you know high demand and low inventory home prices shot through the roof. I'm sure they did in your area wherever you're watching this video from they sure did here as well. But even after the pandemic and the low interest rates we still have a severe lack of inventory so much so that here in Winston-Salem the average home price went up 7.5% over the last year. And between 21 and 2022, uh, the average home prices jumped about 14%. Those years, we went from about $250,000 as the average price point in Winston-Salem to around $285,000 as the average price point in this area. As of the last batch of information that's available, it looks like our average price point here in Winston-Salem is currently around $306,000, uh, which is kind of mind-blowing to me because my brain is still trying to get used to these prices, uh, the new normal, if you will. Um, back in, you know, when I was doing, I've been doing this for over a decade, but in 2017, 2018, the same homes that, you know, used to be 180 to 220 are now $300,000, which is kind of crazy. But despite these price increases in our area, we are still pretty affordable as compared to uh, other parts of the country. In fact, here in Winston-Salem, we were not the only place where prices increased. They increased everywhere, and that's kind of why we are still affordable. According to a recent study by Rocket Mortgage in October of this year, actually, uh, they are saying that our average price point in the United States of America is around $416,000, which is also up, obviously. But here in Winston-Salem, we are still over $100,000 cheaper than that. Now, I do want to mention while we're on the topic, when I was doing the math and doing some research on the average home prices, I did exclude all the homes that sold in the area that were over a million dollars just because they were such outliers that it was throwing the numbers off. So uh, that's kind of how I came to my numbers. So it's safe to say that even with the recent price hikes, Winston-Salem is still a very affordable place to live. So now let's talk about rentals and rent prices because if you're not quite ready to buy you might find this interesting. But stick around because we are going to be talking about other things in this video such as jobs, traffic, taxes and all kinds of other stuff that will be important to know. So you may or may not know this, but the prices of homes and the prices to rent those homes are often correlated, more often than not, they're correlated. So according to Zillow, the average price to rent a home in the United States of America in 2023 is about $2,052, which actually happens to be 3.3% higher than last year. The current median rental price inside of Winston-Salem, according to Zillow, is $1,350, which is kind of interesting. The reason I say it's interesting is because just one month ago, we were 100 dollars more expensive so the rental prices have actually come come down i don't know if that's going to be a a trend that's going to be continuing i hope it is and looking further into it we discover that the current median rental price is actually 345 dollars cheaper than it was uh, for the whole of 2022. So it looks like rental prices in the area are coming down, which is 
a good sign. The current median rental price inside of Winston-Salem is about $700 cheaper than the national average, so that's always good. And just like homes for sale, the rental prices are gonna vary depending on the amenities, the location, you know, what's nearby, the school districts, things of that nature. But honestly, I've seen small condos or small studios rent for 700 to 1,000, but if you're looking for a three or four bedroom, you are gonna be in that 13 to $1,700 a month range usually. And I will say that they are kind of limited. There's not a ton of rentals available and they are kind of strict with the rules and the policies. So if you are thinking about coming here to the area to rent, definitely plan ahead. Don't just come here expecting to be able to find something to rent. You've got to make some calls and do some research before you get here. And next we're going to talk about jobs in the area. Before we do though, just do me a favor, hit that like button, leave me a comment, subscribe. It really helps the channel. Also awesome links in the about section of this video. Some awesome resources for you to check out. Make sure you go to the channel and check out some other awesome videos you might find interesting. North Carolina is projected to add over 300,000 jobs to the state between 2018 and 2028, and we're currently in the middle of that. And the Winston-Salem area job market is very exciting. We have a, a lot of things going on in the area that are gonna help and bring jobs to the, to the area. Siemens Mobility broke ground on over 200 acres in Lexington, North Carolina, which is about 20, 25 minutes from Winston-Salem, so I'm sure we're gonna have a lot of back and forth jobs there. They are the United States' largest rolling stock manufacturer. They are estimated to bring over 500 jobs to the area, and they're estimated to grow the state's economy by 1.6 billion over the next 12 years. Javara, which is a female-owned clinical research company, has been funded to come to the Winston-Salem area, which is very exciting. They're gonna be bringing 400 jobs to the area between 2022 and 2024. And according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, uh, North Carolina has seen some improvements. The last study that they did was in September of this year and according to that study we decreased our unemployment rate from 3.9 to 3.4 which is considered stable given today's national average now let's talk a little bit about property taxes which is an important matter the average national tax rate is about 1.11 percent to give you some perspective north carolina is 0.8 percent on average and this is one of those areas where a lot of people are surprised when they move to winston-salem and figure out how affordable it is they're considering or they're thinking that the taxes are going to be very high not only are our tax rates cheaper than many other places, especially many major cities in the area, but also the um, the prices are lower, so you're being charged less of a tax rate on less money, so it makes it really, really affordable. I just got a house under contract, for example, uh, just this Sunday, and uh, the home price was in the mid 200s, let's call it $250,000, and the taxes for that one, and it was inside of Winston-Salem, so you're getting, getting both city and county taxes here. Uh, the whole tax bill for that one was about uh, $1,800, so a little bit more than $100 per month uh, on that bill. Now, obviously, if you have a mortgage, that's gonna be taken care of as part of your mortgage, but kind of gives you an idea. So yeah, let me know how that compares to taxes in your neck of the woods. And up next, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite things about living in Winston-Salem, having lived in uh, other bigger cities and visiting a lot of bigger places, uh, and that's gonna be the traffic. Traffic has never been a big concern for any Winston-Salem resident, and up to this date, it still continues to not really be a concern. Winston-Salem seems to be one of the only cities that I know of that's actually planning well in advance for the population boom. They're currently building and they've already completed parts of the, the Northern Beltway and the Outer Loop. Uh, so we're getting kind of a, a loop around our city, kind of like some of other majors, kind of a trend. A lot of major cities are getting these loops that makes getting around town uh, very easy and very convenient and gives alternate routes in case one route is jammed up. Now there are certain areas that are gonna get way more congested than others. If you're trying to leave, you know, a major uh, center of commerce or downtown or a lot of areas that's got a lot of business, you're gonna slow down, but the, the beautiful thing, and I just experienced this again this weekend with some people from Massachusetts, uh, they were like, yeah, we slowed down a little bit, but we never came to a complete stop. And you know, you slow down, you keep moving, and then it speeds up again, you might slow down again, but that's, you know, rush hour, that's our <laughs> rush hour traffic. We're not gridlock stop completely. Like even in Greensboro, I've seen in Charlotte, definitely have seen uh, from the West Coast originally in Southern California. So the five and the 405, just it's not like that at all whatsoever. And I love that so much. And as far as the uh, major projects going on around the city, they're supposed to be completed by 2026. So we're almost there actually, which is gonna help out a lot, even though 
like I said, we, we still right now are not suffering, but I think they're expecting a major boom in population. So they're trying to get prepared. Now let's talk about another reason why a lot of people are moving here and that's gonna be the healthcare. When it comes to healthcare needs, Winston-Salem has been and continues to be a great place to get your healthcare needs covered. Winston-Salem is home to Atrium Health, Wake Forest Baptist, which is one of the large, the largest employer in the metro area here. Not only that, but it has a comprehensive cancer facility, a heart and vascular center, it works with neurology, orthopedics, pediatrics, and primary care. And then there's also Novant Health, which actually has a pretty large presence in our area as well. And they have facilities all over the city. Now, obviously I'm biased guys, but I really do think that after I did all this research and went through the math and looked at the numbers and statistics, it still seems that Winston-Salem is a great place to live. The main reasons why people have moved here and continue to move here are still intact, right? We are still very affordable. I mean, everything has gone up in price kind of together, but we're still affordable compared to the national average. Taxes are still cheap. You still have that small city feeling where you're kind of in between a rural town and a big major city. You have plenty of things to do, but the people are still friendly and the traffic doesn't suck yet. Uh, I can't speak for the next 10 years, but for now, uh, especially with the roadways and what they're building in the outer loop, it's still great. Our weather hasn't changed. We still have some amazing weather. In fact, today we're in the fall, right? I'm recording this at the end of October and it's about 72 degrees. So it's a little bit warm. Yesterday was a little bit cooler, but I love these days in the fall. We have some amazing weather here in Winston-Salem. A lot of people are planning to retire here in the Winston-Salem area because of the weather, because of the proximity to the mountains and the beaches, because of the proximity to bigger states like New York, Florida, Atlanta, Georgia is right here. Um, so there's many, many reasons why Winston-Salem in this area is very, very convenient. And you know what's funny is that it's becoming harder and harder to find a person that's actually from Winston-Salem. It's becoming a city of transplants, which I think is so much fun. It brings so much diversity and culture to the area. So if you're a local, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. I'll be happy to have a conversation with you down there about whether Winston-Salem is still a great place to live or not. And that's gonna do it for me, guys. Feel free to give me a call or shoot me a text if there's anything that I can do for you. Of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, really helps the channel. Awesome links in the about section of this video, and I'll see you in the next one.